Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. And now I am at level 15, well on my way into level 15 as a matter of fact. And I have already managed to make my way to Kiel Canal, but we are going to make some stopovers at Slovakia first because we have not visited this, vis we have not visited this place <laughs> so far as a gr group or together. But we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you some things I learned, some things that uh, my good buddy Delacpa taught me about this particular waterway. Now, I've, like I said, I've explored Keel Canal a little bit and been able to catch some of the cool fish there, too. But Slovakia is a good money maker. And the fish here are actually pretty easy to grind if you need to grind for XP and cash. All right, we are here. Now, I believe we come in in position one is where we start off at and this is actually a pretty good spot to fish if you so desire but there is one that's a little bit better and like I said you tend to come in in the noon in the noon at noon <laughs> which is actually an excellent time for fishing here uh, the only time you really want to come in at night I haven't had any luck with it so far but if you want to fish for chub and you want to fish for um, smelt the time to fish for them is at night now I'm going to eventually give it a try again but I'm going to do it off screen until I get it a little bit more mastered but as far as the grinding of the fish we want to either come to three or four and I think four is probably the best this is the spot that Delacaba showed me and here we go now you pop in here pretty much you're in the water it looks like there is a little rise over here we gotta come out of the water and he said come over here where this tree is right here but you can walk anywhere in this waterway I think there's a few places where it gets a little deep almost to your chest but what I'm doing is I'm coming out you can see the bridge that's just above my head here and we're gonna come out to where we're right out here in the middle just like this and one of the things I want to show you here in the shop before we go any further there's some packages that you can purchase and this one right here this package of lures for seventh level this has these two um, Sasus lures, I think is what you call them, and these two bug lures. For the money, these are definitely worth your time. Especially these two lures. These two lures are amazing in this particular waterway, and they also are in the Keel Canal. But some of these packages are really good deals, guys. I mean, really nice. This is a good float set. Uh, if you bought this gear for the spinning rod, which is a 6806.75, I haven't got the cash yet to buy it, but I'm getting there. That's one of probably going to be my next big purchase. This rod and reel, if you if you bought the rod by itself, it's 10,000. Well, like n almost 10,000, like 9,990 or some ridiculous amount. But if you buy it in the get, you buy it with this package, you get all this extra gear, you get a reel with it. And you even get some line with it. Not a bad deal. I think it goes up 37 pound or something like that. So definitely worth your while in the long run. And this one too. I haven't checked these others as well. But looks to me like these are pretty good deals as well for as far as cash goes. But I've already purchased the one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this set. And I'm going to... Oops. Here it is, the Sakura Sukus 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 Blade 45S. This is an amazing lure that you can try. It's a crankbait. And what you want to do is you want to cast this sucker right over here. 
I would have never found this. Well, I'm not saying I wouldn't have, but it would take me a hell of a lot longer had it not been for my good buddy Dulakova. He pointed out just how good this area is. Now, he has been playing this game well over, I think, 50 hours already. <laughs> I mean, even more than myself and more than my other friend Jimmy. But he keeps starting back at level one and trying new and different things. He's definitely the the guide person. The person that gives you a beginner's guide and how to do this and how to do that. But what we just passed there was what's called a Hoochin or a Hutchin. It's a very large trout species found often in the Danube River. And they do go for this particular lure. Of course, right now they're not going for this particular lure, but they normally do. And when you're reeling it in, reel it in all the way. Because a lot of times they will grab it the last minute, too. I've seen this almost all the way reeled in, and then suddenly a fish comes up and grabs it. So. Okay, we'll try this again. Now I've got my speed set to 20. You want it between about 16 and 20. I'm going to take my drag down though. Now one thing you can get it off the bottom is just by tapping control and that'll get it off up off the bottom so that you can reel it in. I'm not sure what that was, if it was a bream or a, an ass. I didn't get a good look at it. but. The brown trout really like this lure, and the Atlantic salmon. We might need to get some of these guys to start spawning too, because I'm not seeing a lot of fish, and that. I think what we'll do is we'll cast over here too, just to get things spawning. I hear them. That may have gone to the other bank. It didn't though. Now I get a lot of rainbow trout probably more rainbow trout than anything else. Rainbow trout here is like catching bluegill, I swear. Honest to God, I'm not sure why no one's biting it right now. Probably because I'm filming it. Alright, I'm going to try it again over this way. Actually, let me walk this way a little bit more. See, there's a chub right there. Now, the most elusive fish in here so far, my understanding is the grayling. They're very hard to catch. You can see them, they just don't seem to go for a whole lot. Lure fishing doesn't seem to do anything for them. You know, I just realized something. I think I know what my problem is, guys. Hold on just a second. Let me check something here real quick. Because I think I might have switched something on my gear here. Yep. I used that mono dark line instead of the regular mono. Let's try this. No, 
Now one thing it's important to know about trout species, they have really, really good eyesight. So if there's a line that they can see, it might scare them off. And I forgot about that when I was doing Keel Canal. Codfish there don't seem to give a crap about what the line looks like. See? There's a hoochin. Now if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, let me know, but I think that's right. Hoochin, Hudchin, looks like H-U-D-G-E-N. Hudchin. Yeah, the line I had before is a little heavier than this, but should be able to handle just about anything here. Let's put our tension up just a little bit. I always start at around 56, and then I can always add more to it if I need to. Okay, it's pushing it. Well, one thing that's nice about these guys being out here in this water, I can walk up to them as I'm reeling in. I think that's so far the only one where you can do that. <laughs> Come on, fish. And we got him. Alright, there we go. Ooh, he's a personal record, too. No wonder it was hard to get him in. See, 121.41 cash. 22.07 pounds. It's H-U-C-H-E-N. <laughs> Hoochin. 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 Okay. Or Hoochin, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, you saw how it, things changed. It's something as simple as changing my line with how I caught the fish. Now I'm going to try to see if I can't get over there again. This time I'm going to be casting a little bit further in those rocks. I'm actually fishing at this point right about where the spot number one starts where you spawned in from the very beginning. take that tension down. See, I forgot I had it all the way up to 76. That could be very bad. For some reason it stopped reeling in. I don't know what the heck happened there. I always like to look this way to see if anything might be chasing it. really odd. I'm not seeing as many rainbow trout as I normally do. So I think what I might do here, guys, hold on, let me try this. This is something else you can try. If you don't see a lot of fish spawning in the location you're at, go ahead and go back to the map. Go back and spawn at another location. And then spawn back. And that can change some things. It actually kind of like reloads it almost. And I might actually change lures this time because I want to show you another really, really good lure. This is the Robinson Trophy 14 grams. It's a pink colored spoon. There's a white one that looks similar to it, but it doesn't work as well as this does in this location. And a lot of these trout species... Whoa! I don't know heck what's going on there, but... Anyway, a lot of these trout species really, really like this lure. And at Keel Canal, one thing I found out real quick is that the eels like this lure. The European eels love it. I caught a really big one well over a hundred dollars cash first fish I caught now we may spend a couple of episodes here because if I'm able to master getting the chub here I see now I'm seeing rainbows so the reset kinda worked I believe
may take that down to 16. I thought I saw a fish going for it, but he's still hanging back, so... There we go. Now that's what usually happens right there. Rainbow Trout. You will get Rainbow Trout. You'll get a lot of Rainbow Trout. You'll get sick of Rainbow Trout. <laughs> eh, they're, look, they're bits of cash and every little bit helps. I have not seen any brown trout yet. There are brown trout here. There are brook trout here. I have not caught a brook trout. I watched Dula catch one, but I have myself not caught one yet. I've seen them swimming around, but none of them were taking the lure. And the top water ones work really well here too, guys. You'll find that the top water lures, the bugs especially, if you put it to raining, it will improve your catch rate considerably. That's because in real life, when it rains, the insects get knocked out of the sky by the raindrops onto the top of the water and the fish have a little feast. Oh, come on, no takers? Uh, apparently not that time. Thought I had a last minute attempt there. Let me try casting over here. That might spread more spawns out. Yeah, this is really shallow. You don't have to worry about it getting down to the bottom, that's for darn sure. Now I'm going to bump that out a little bit. I think I may need to... S yeah, I need to increase my speed up to 20. There we go. Yeah, you gotta make sure that lure turns green. Sounds like we've got a feisty little fish over there. Not feisty enough. Nope, maybe so. Boom! There we go. Yeah, if you see them playing around at the top, and freaking out, and spinning in circles, you're probably going to get a bite. Another rainbow. Okay, let's try back over here again. I'm going to try over there. Let's see. Really want to get a brown. The browns are worth a lot of cash here. And the hoochins are worth a lot of cash. Those are what you want to get. And you can get some big rainbows, but you're not going to get it with this lore so much. If I don't get anything this time, I think what I'm going to do is switch over to one of the bug lures. And I'll show you just how well they do. I haven't seen any brown trout. They're often over at position one, so I'm gonna. Yeah, it's kind of unusually quiet this time. Okay, this is the one to secure a Notabug 30F. I 
I'm going to come a little bit more to the middle. But this one, this is a good bug one, and this one can get you some really, really big rainbows if that's what you're interested in pulling in. You want a speed again? About 20. Most of the speeds I use are around 20. So keep the speed about 20. Start off with a drag between 50 and 60 percent. You can always increase the drag or decrease it if as needed. See how that fish is freaking out? He's going to attack it. Boom! Oh. See? Just like that. Just like that. Looks like they're a little more into the bugs right now. But you can get you some pretty big rainbows out of here. I got some 20 pounders out of here. He's, yeah, he's comparable. Try that again. And obviously the camera view is a little bit different since you're fishing from off the top. Okay, that fish is spazzing. He's going to grab it. See? Predictable, predictable, predictable. And he's not very big. Like I said, you're going to get a lot of rainbow trout. I've been getting about the same size, too. Well, let's go back to the map. I'm going to go back over here to one. And I'm going to try some of my other lures over here just to see. Hold on here. Equipment. We need to change this back to this one. And I like to get way just on the other side of this rock in the middle of the lake or the lake middle of the stream sounds like we've got a lot of fish jumping we're going to see if we can't get something over here interested See, when I saw those bubbles, that sometimes means a fish is spawning in. There's a fish right in front of me. He's not acting like... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> See what I mean? And that's a brown. That's a brown, guys. Check him out. There we go. Two hundred and twenty-one dollars and ninety-one cents. See what I mean? They're the cash winners, guys. These guys bring some good money. Good money. Good money. Now, for some reason, they're over here. I'm not sure why. Usually, they're over in four, but hey, you might want to move around a little bit. He definitely went for that lure. He just went kind of late. So I saw that one right there. He's gone now, but he was right in front of me, and I thought he was gonna might go for it. Hey, you don't have to worry about snags. Good thing too, because I would have had snag central here. See that fish just spawned in. There's a rainbow. We're starting to get a little more fish here, so maybe that's gonna make things a little bit better for us. Oh, come on, Pepe. No? 
He wasn't interested. Didn't even so much as give it a sideways glance. Nope, not that time. Well, I tell you what, let's try that other one that I was talking about. And then we'll try the bug. wouldn't it? Alright guys, I am back again and we're going to try this time one of the bugs and there's quite a few of these bug lures. Let me go ahead and give you a quick look at some of the ones I have in my gear. I've got this Secura Nota Bug 30F, the Secura Jemmy Bug 30F, this Nota Bug 22F, this gets smaller fish. The bigger they are, the bigger the fish, basically, is what it boils down to. We also have this Secura Gemma Bug 30F. It's a black one with red wings. Now, I'll tell you, some of these will bring in some pretty good sized fish. Now, I just pulled in a really large off screen uh, brown trout with the Gemma Bug, this blue one with brown wings. But according to Delacaba, this one is a real good one, the one with the black wings. I'm going to give it a try here and we'll record this part of it. Now let's see, we're going to toss this over here. One thing I did notice, guys, there is a change in the casting. It looks like when you cast, there's like a little, I mean, normally there's been a line, but there's a little red area. And I think couple of times when I casted it, when I put it into the red, the cast kind of went nutty. <laughs> kind of like you over, you know, you overthrow or something. So you might want to be careful with that. Apparently they've did some adjustments with it so you can't throw it too hard. It's like your, your aim goes wild or something. I don't know. But yeah, see? There we go. We got a hoochin'. And we're going to take that down a little bit because he is a big fella. Okay, we can up it back. Last thing I want to do is lose this guy. Now these are pretty good cash. I think the brown trout so far from what I've seen bring in the most money. But I haven't brought in a really big one of these either. So... Well, maybe not until now. Let's see here. He is... Well, one thing you can do is you can walk up to them. This is the only waterway so far that I've seen you can do this. You can walk right up to them and pick them up. <laughs> Just like that. There you go. Yeah, see, he's 77.86. But I just recently got a brown trout at 215. So, unless we can get a bigger one of these guys... They're still a nice looking fish. And I'm going to try one more time. I want to see if this thing goes nuts again like it did earlier. No? That's, that's a pretty good cast. There's nothing wrong with that. Hearing a lot of activity. Now for the bugs, it seems like I had to bump the speed up to 24. 20 I wasn't getting that green lure over to the right. Let me try taking the speed down a little bit and see if it still stays green. Well, it still stays green. I don't know what was going on. Well, I'm getting bites on 20 and 24 both, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. Kind of curious to see if I can get another brown trout off of these bugs. Uh, there was a fish, but he didn't seem all that interested. Yeah, let's try that 
other bug that I was using earlier, this one. I was having real good luck with this one. Especially right where that stick is. I don't know if you can see it, but if you zoom in right there, if you cast towards that and that tree, it seems to be a really good spot. Now I think in the next episode I'm going to go over float fishing a little bit. I've gotten a lot better at it. I finally figured out the, the trick to float fishing in this place. And the trick is, is to cast it downstream. Don't cast it upstream, it just keeps carrying it. If you cast it downstream you can hold it in place. I managed to pull in a couple of eyed, which that's what that is down under there. They go for grasshoppers. Supposedly there's smelt in here. And chub. Oh no, they're going to be persnickety. Alright, fine. We'll try over here. Yeah, I'm going to try throwing it at the maximum to see what happens. Huh? That seems to cast alright. I don't know what that was then. I hear a fish jumping. A lot of times I will stop and kind of do a stop and go thing. It seems to help attract them a little bit. That's another eyed. I think I was doing better at 24, honestly. Yeah, because it goes a deep green on that. Huh. It's like as soon as I start recording, then they stop biting. I don't understand. Well, yeah, I do understand that. <laughs> That's the way things are. You can get bites after bites after bites off screen. Fish are practically jumping on the line every few minutes. Now they're going, nope, camera shy. Honestly, I'm not seeing any fish over here. Yeah, I might move over to that. I might move over to that other spot. That's really good. Looks like there's an eyed right there. Well, let's press the map and we'll head over to four. And I think I'll try my luck over on this side of things. Yeah, I want to get just under that. I think I might try casting over this way this time. I've seen a lot of brown trout over there. Wouldn't mind getting another one. Ooh, there we go. Come on, guy. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, you are going to be... A there he comes. There he comes. And I got him. Ha <laughs> ha. When he is big. Oh shoot. Too big. Too big. Okay. Whew. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 117. Now that's a big one. That's a big one. Not the biggest one I've gotten, but look at the XP. 228 XP. That's real good XP, guys. 21 pounds. Nice, nice fish. 
All right. Not bad. I think in our next episode, guys, we are going to do some float fishing. I'm going to keep working on that and trying to get it mastered. But there was one thing I wanted to show you guys. I did level up to level 16, which means I got another skill point. And that means I'm going to have to leave, unfortunately, to go to where I can set up my skills. And there we go, new skill point. Now the reason I came here is I think, not 100% certain, I think I can select this one. Nope, I cannot yet. This is what's called Eagle Eye. This is one you want to get as soon as you can get it. And what this allows you to do is see the fish under the water by pressing the V key. But what can I get? I get Strongman. Fish get tired 5% faster. Iron Lure, if the fish breaks off, you won't lose your bait or hook. Let you exchange daily quests twice. I don't really care about that. We're going to go with Strongman. So, I'm slowly building up those. Now, I've been told that the Dodger one's probably the best one for the fishing skills. The Economist is best for the, well, economy. For cheaper lures, cheaper, uh, better quests, stuff like that. Well, let's see. What quests do we have here? We've got... European perch, they're not found here. 22 minutes on a fishing ground, that's fairly easy. And 20 minutes on a fishing ground. Well, let's see if we can't change that. Okay, there, that's better. That's better. Catch fish of any species that weigh a total of 11.02 pounds. That I can probably pull off. So I've got one quest point. Do I have any weekly points? Ah, and I completed it. 14 minutes on any fishing ground, that was $75 automatically. Nice, very nice. So next time I'm going to try to select another weekly quest. They have monthly quests as well. Those are worth 5 points that you can earn from doing the daily quests. Alright. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And next time we're going to be doing some float fishing here at Slovakia. And from there, I think we'll go to Kiel Canal, see what we can do there. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.